Some private schools across the country have welcomed the government's decision to reopen schools for secondary school students who are sitting exams next year. Shazad Ali, Director of Studies at the Apex Education at Montrose on the east coast of Demerara, told the newsroom that 4th and 5th form students have returned to the school under strict COVID-19 rules. Students in fourth form attend school on alternate days, while fifth formers attend school every day. Parents were also asked to drop students off early and to pick them up at a certain time to avoid any contagion. We have adhered, and we have been adhering to the 620-100 COVID health protocol. In fact, we wrote a grade 6 and a CSEC examination right here at the center. Um, we have systems in place when persons um, would be accessing our campuses, we put uh, markings at six feet apart and that when they come in into this sanitization hub, they will have to be tested with a non-contact infrared thermometer and then we would be spraying, um, applying the antimicrobial agent and students will be washing their hands. The director further explained that parents in the medical field will be working on a voluntary basis at the school and they have also established a quarantine area in the event that any student shows symptoms of COVID-19. With the strain on every household due to the pandemic, Apex Education is also offering a discount to the tuition fees and for students who cannot access online classes, the school will be providing learning packages for them. From since March gone to now, we are not taking any registration fee. So that's $5,000 we are not charging us registration fee. And all nursery students have 50% discount. Imagine 50%. And the primary 25% and secondary 15%. So we are seeing with parents all the way. Meanwhile, School of the Nations in Georgetown is prepared to resume face-to-face -face learning, but the director, Brian O'Toole, explained that a survey with parents showed that the majority preferred to continue online classes. The director also lamented that students and educators are faced with constant blackouts and poor internet service during online classes. However, he highlighted that attendance in class is higher as a result of online learning. So all of our classes now down to nursery, up to A-levels and all of our university level classes, all of them are online. I would say that the great majority of people have been very happy with that. In fact, um, following the guidance from Minister uh, of Education that schools were, were um, allowed, if you like, to open on Monday, we sent out a survey to all our parents and 76% of them said, no, we're very happy with online. We prefer to stay online. We still are very concerned about the health risks. According to the director, over 200 students have transferred to the school since the pandemic hit Guyana in March. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Pato.